pizza is one of the most expensive foods on the planet. Truffles, the essence of luxury. It's well known that if you order a dish infused or topped with this edible fungus, it will cost you. Truffles can cost up to $8,000 a kilo. In fact, the world's most expensive truffle sold for over $330,000 back in 2002. But what exactly makes truffles so expensive? Well, they're hard to find and almost impossible to grow. Truffles are fungi, but unlike mushrooms, they grow underground near tree and plant roots. And to find them, most truffle hunters have to use trained dogs and even pigs to sniff them out. There are over 40 species of truffle around the world, but no matter where they are, they all have one issue in common. They can only thrive in very specific weather conditions, and they're only found a couple of months out of every year. But truffle hunters can still make tens of thousands of dollars a season, which is why entrepreneurs around the world are racing to figure out how to grow this black and white gold in an industry that's estimated to grow to nearly $6 billion globally over the next two decades. But now, Israeli researchers have figured out how to cultivate this rare delicacy in the middle of the desert, and their work is worth a fortune. be looking for the crack and once we see the crack we dig if we're lucky then we'll see the mushroom below ground there it is yeah. you see it's a small crack the people and who are able to identify this have to have a very very keen eye yes actually often sometimes smell them even he's saying <laughs> me i smell it here digging and he finds them this is the desert truffle it's famous across the Middle East and North Africa. For thousands of years, it's been a popular delicacy, especially among ancient Jewish communities on Passover. But it's always been a mystery to figure out where these truffles are growing and how to cultivate them. In, in Israel, the only one who, who find the, the truffles are local Bedouin uh, tribes who just uh, gather them. While they're herding the goats and sheep in, in the desert, they see the plant, they know how to dig it. Later on, they sell it in the markets. A desert truffle can only be found near the roots of this shrub, which is considered its host plant. They provide nutrients to one another that allows them to survive in the harsh desert. In other words, you can't find one without the other. Whoa. Okay. Now, this one. Okay. That's a big one. That is massive. The, no, no, it's not a massive. That's Actually, a it's, a, it's an okay plus. one. Really? Yeah. Okay. How big can these things get? Uh, half a kilo. I have a half a kilo. How much would this go for? Fifty dollars, something like that, per kilo. So you're it's not five thousand euros, <laughs> but uh, here it's, uh, it is considered quite uh, expensive. In years when there's not uh, enough yield, go even to five hundred shekels, almost two hundred dollars. It smells like a munch, like, like a mushroom. mushroom. It smells like, yeah, like fungi. Exactly. Desert gold. <laughs> I mean, they really do look golden with the sand. Our goal that this this will become a product for farmers. So now it's going to be my chance to try to find and dig up a desert truffle. Of course, I'm being directed exactly as to where to do that because I have <laughs> no idea how to do this with my own eye. This is it. No sniffer dogs. No sniffer pigs. <laughs> Just two incredible researchers from Israel. Wow. I mean, it really is like finding a treasure. Look at that. They get to do this all day long, but for the rest of us, we're all living our archaeological dreams, mm -hmm. our truffle hunting dreams. <laughs> 